So yesterday I was back into the classroom and doing a lecture in front of a live audience for the first time in two and a half years. I think it was January 2020 that I held my last public lecture. And that was quite cool because I've been doing videos like crazy, about 1,000 of them to be specific, every single day since 2019. And it was amazingly how, how well the camera presence translated into stage present. It felt more natural than ever, even though I haven't done it for two and a half years. Usually they say if you don't use it, you lose it, but I clearly used it just in a, in a different shape, doing these vlog style videos and the education videos. Very, very useful. And uh, anyways, the lecture is recorded. It's a two and a half hour long lecture in Swedish, containing a lot of basic acoustics about the perception of sound and... Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty easy down to earth. The target group is like uh, uh, structural engineer, building engineers. But uh, I think anyone can benefit from listening to it if you're if you know Swedish, of course, and uh, if you're into acoustics. So I'll drop a link in the description to, of this video, and you can you can check it out. And uh, also, if you if you want to get the camera presence, I don't think there's any better way than to do start doing these vlogs and. Don't bother about the high-tech equipment with these fancy cameras that I use with lenses and microphones and stuff. All you need is a smartphone. That's it. You just have to be consistent and practice and do a lot of videos. And then you can start to think about better equipment. But I know that for a fact that us engineers, we have a really hard time with that. We, we focus so much on the equipment, we need a good microphone, we need a good camera, we need good lighting in the studio so that it looks good and all that stuff. So we tend to start in that end, instead of just grabbing the phone, pressing record, doing videos, and that'll, you will gain experience, which is invaluable. And then you should move on and fiddle about with the stuff. And to be good on camera is, is a very nice skill to have. And I promise you, it felt very, very, very awkward at first. But after 1,000 videos, it's probably physically impossible to not get at least half bad at it. So I'm having a lot of fun. And in tonight's video, I'm wearing a gray shirt, blue jacket, and a little orange pocket square with a line here. So, And there's some gray and blue here, so it ties it all together in a nice way. See ya.